Hello and welcome to Search Blocks. Today I'll show you how to install Search Blocks on a Windows instance. You can refer to this developer documentation link. Download the suitable version of Search Blocks for Windows from this link. Run the installer and follow the wizard to install Search Blocks on your C drive. The installer will extract Search Blocks, Elasticsearch, and the Search Blocks analytics files. After the installation is complete, as a prerequisite, set Java Home and the Environment Path variable for Java. If there are other versions of Java installed on the system, please remove the references from the path variable. To set the environment variable, right-click on My Computer, select Properties, and click Advanced System Settings. On the Advanced tab, select Environment Variables. Create a new system variable called Java Home with the given value. If you plan to use an alternate drive location such as D drive for search blocks installation, please refer to the developer documentation link. Now select the path variable and add Java Home pin as a new path. Open command prompt and verify if Java is installed correctly by running the command shown. Now let's start Elasticsearch. Go to the file path shown. Here, open command prompt and run the following command, elasticsearch service.bat install. You can find and start the Elasticsearch service from the services panel found in admin services in the control panel. You can also make the service start automatically in the services panel by changing startup type to automatic so that Elasticsearch service starts automatically on restart. Verify the Elasticsearch service by opening the browser and going to localhost 9200. The default username and password are both admin. If Elasticsearch is installed correctly, you will see the following result. To stop the Elasticsearch service, go to the folder shown. In the folder, open command prompt and run the following command. Now let's start the search block service. Go to this file path. Right click on install service.bat file and run as administrator. This will install the service. You can start the search block service manually from the services panel. Restart windows if you are not able to start search blocks manually. Check if the Elasticsearch service is running. Always remember to start the Elasticsearch service before starting the search block service. Search block service will start automatically upon restart. Once the search block service is started, go to the link shown in your browser to access the search blocks admin console. This is the collections dashboard in the admin console. Make sure you change your old password and set a new password. The analytics server is used to display search query data on the analytics page within your search blocks admin console. The analytics server will use port 4000 by default. For more information on analytics, please refer to our developer documentation. To stop search block service, you can either click on stop from the services panel or go to the bad folder Right click on the stop service.bat file and run as administrator. Now let's take a look at how to change the port for your search block server. The search block server by default runs on port 8080. To change the port, first stop the search block service. Then open the start.ini file and in line number 163, you can give the required port number. Now save the start.ini file and start search block service. Now let's take a look at how to uninstall search blocks. First, stop the Elasticsearch service, search block service, and analytics service. Go to the file path shown and open the command prompt as an administrator. Uninstall the Elasticsearch service by running the command shown. Now go to the file path shown, open the command prompt, and run the command uninstall service.bat. 
to uninstall search block service. Run the uninstall.exe file to uninstall the application. Delete all the files within the search block server folder in your C drive and remove the folder itself for a clean uninstall. That's all about installation of search blocks on a Windows server. Thank you for watching.